Cobra is one of the most annoying towers to face against in Bloons TD battles. So in today's video, I'll be showing you the easiest way to destroy Cobra users, which works 100% of the time. By the way, this game was part of my live stream, so make sure you subscribe if you want to see games like this live. With that being said, let's get right into it. Alright, GG's to Candy. He was lagging. Unlucky, bro. No way we are back in the calm. What map is it? Farmyard, okay. This is gonna be interesting. Nakam is a good player. He's like, don't play anything right now. Boost only. Alright, good luck. Here's the real Nakam because I follow him. So we don't gotta worry about fakes or anything. So we'll wait for him to re up, okay? So the load that I wanna pick is Helifarm Ice. It's kinda difficult to pull off because Ice Power is not the best and it's a two way map. But I feel like we can still, uh, we can still clutch up. So good luck, good luck, good luck. So on this map specifically, you need to start with a spike. Since the heli placement, oh, you don't spike, you don't spike. You don't, you don't want to spike against Cobra at all. Did I not call it chat? He was going to, he was going to go Cobra on this map. So for heli spot, we use the spot. Because this does not occupy a farm space. And it's also closer to the end of the send track. So it's a really good spot overall. I mean, it's the best spot, not even a good spot. So we'll send a 261, I think. And go from there. We'll save for farm now. Also, it's 3 a.m. for me. Unlucky candy. See you, everybody. And uh, what else? He's going mortar. Okay, it's Cobra, Cobra Bomb Mortar then. So how you play against this strat is you just literally just passive bank and after you bank you just defend the adjustment and then you cash out for a Apache and you literally win. You know what I Loki might go for a quad toss. Actually though no, I lied. I lied, let's go for ice. We'll buy the power first, play it safe. You don't wanna leak too much on this map. It's a very difficult map to defend on with HFI. Okay, he's gonna be annoying here by setting these pigs. Which is fine, I'm just gonna tank if I leak, that is. Do we buy this? How are we not leaking though? I guess the ice is clutching. Gonna double ice for black store. It is what it is. We'll send some blacks to try and break his anti stall, but I feel like it's not gonna happen. Let's see. Oh, pink stuck through. No, 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 no. Okay, we clutched it. Nice. Heli is so good, bro. You can literally target it as you want, which is what makes Heli so good. Okay, let's get this up. So, should we play it safe and go for the code dots, or should we just read? Oh, we have 142 lives. So I feel like we should greet this out. Yeah, 100%. He stopped setting as well. This is not the play. You should always send. Poses leaks. Okay, he's back. I guess he stopped setting with when the AI stopped spawning. So it's all good. Uh, Alright, let's go for the portal now, though. Said let's break his anti stall because it forces him to move his motor. Nice. He moved this motor. Let's keep it that way. Did I mess this up? I did. Okay, fine. Get this up. Yeah, I bet he's getting pissed off by this rush. It's it's literally just ninety dollar space red lens. And he got up a spike. He used the spike. He got up a cluster, and he still leaked. Okay, there's the camo lead. He's using this annoying decal as well. So I gotta be on the lookout for camo balloons because you cannot tell what's camo and what not, what's not camo with this decal. So can I back this round? I probably can. Yeah, let's do it, bro. Let's do it. I'm a savage.
All right, so if he's smart, he doesn't sell Rush anymore because the threshold to sell the bag is over. So here's what's going to happen. He's going to adjust. He's going to offensive push a BFP. And if I defend the everything on the screen without selling my bag, I win the game. That's that's the challenge now. It all depends on your defending skills. So I'm going to use... I'm going to cycle one boost. He's starting his adjustment. So get up a second heli, bro. Okay, we need one more eco boost for the right side. So it has camo. Okay, so less. I'm just going to boost the star, honestly. 40, 41, 42. More double eyes. There we go. Okay, why did he send like a million dollars worth of lens? That did nothing. He should send whites and mixing some zebras. And you know what? No, I, I like. He should just not rush. Why did he rush in the first place? Alright, he's, uh, he's full on committing to his adjustment, so let's uh, get this out. So, just gotta wait till this is full, and then we can cash out for the Apache. That's literally all, all you need to do. And we win the game. It's that easy. Okay, adjustment is pretty weak because he wasted all of his money into a uh, round 16 rush, with that, which did absolutely nothing. Okay, this is full, we'll cash out. So, 3.5k, 800, so 4k, so 8, 4, 12, so we need 3k more. Okay, so we can boost the first one. Yeah, we'll boost this. Triple spike. I uh, will cash out for the re rush here. Can we wait till next round? That would be awesome. Okay, we need to end the round. Anti stall, anti stall, anti stall. End the round. Okay, we might actually afford without selling, without cashing out. I'm in such a good spot, but this is why you don't rush round 16 as a Cobra player. Why did he get up a misdirection? Okay, Nakam is letting me down right now. This is not how you're supposed to play. Oh, he's sending a ZMG. Never mind, never mind, never mind. This is going to be interesting now. So, how you want to defend this is you want to sell the rotors, I think. Where's my rotors? Okay, you want to sell the rotors, you want to... I stole this optimally. So let me think. We need ice here. We need a Arctic wind. Probably here, same spot. And what should we do? I could all out him to be honest. But let's do it the sick way, yeah. So I feel like we always ice here. So we need to use two stalls for this. That's the key. In defending. If you can do that, you will defend without boost. That's just how good it is. Oh, I'm off. Let's boost. Two eco boost, right? Uh, this is gonna be close. Okay, there we go. We're folded. We have one more BFE. I'ma just wait. I'ma just not pop it. So we get our boost back. Played safe. Okay, nice. Well, boost is back. So now we can. This is why Heli is just broken, bro. Actually, we don't even need to boost this. Yeah, we, we're fine. GG's. Heli Ace is just OP. GG's, buddy. <laughs> GG's. Like a ZMG, no, ZMG doesn't work, bro. Your best bet is to just offensive push or uh, round 19 BFB and just hope I sell my bank. That way you have some play. Round 25. Can this guy. Uh, surrender already, please. That would be awesome. Okay, let's just let's just rush him. There's no way he's gonna defend, bro. Don't smile. You're not defending this. I'm not gonna overcome it. Don't worry. I'm gonna keep eye shots up and eye stall. Here you go. You're not you're not gonna win with a counter. And have a boost. Yeah, that doesn't defend. There's no shot. He has one mauler. There's probably be 8 mobs on screen and he's dead to camos. Yeah, he's just going that. Alright, we'll reach out now. He would have money to defend. Yeah, I suppose, yeah. But defending is since like I cannot tell how much money he has. Uh the safer place to just go for defense like I did. But yeah, you could always just counter because uh of how he played, he needs to have enough selling power in his cobras if he does that. 
So GG's to Nakam. And we're up against... I don't know who this guy is. Alright, we're up against this dude now. What is the map again? Sprinkler, okay. So he's an NG player judging by the last game. So I think he's gonna go NG farm heli here. So we could just go HFR, yeah? Keep it simple. We'll go HFR, good luck. So I'm not, gonna, not even gonna spy because I know he's gonna go NG. Unless... Yeah, there's the NG. I knew it, bro. I knew it. Okay, nice. We save a spike now. <coughs> oh, he insta buys this pro the 9 inch nails. Okay, we don't even send them. We go 250. Okay, I said it's JL. Okay, okay. So JL is a good Cobra player. I don't know about NG. Oh yeah, I, I was talking about the Mixico playstyle, right? I'm gonna do it this game as well. We'll showcase the Mexico uh, HFI playstyle, yeah? So we'll send pings, he went for a sentry, but I feel like we can force a 2-1 anyways. Let's see. Alright, let's target like this. Is he handling? Kinda is. Yeah, now he's three sentries, so he's gonna be fine. Okay, we're gonna afford this in one second. There we go. Please don't leak too much. Okay, we leak three lives. That's all good. Alright, he buys us two one NG anyway, so why did he leak 15 lives in the first place? I don't know, it doesn't make sense to me. Alright, it's gonna be the standard round 7 plantation. Maybe I'll get a extra banana here. But I feel like I won't. Yeah, we did not get the extra banana. It is what it is. So, uh, the goal is simple. You just double plant before round 10. Or before you get up a rotus. And that way you're basically... You're basically securing a bank. Okay, we'll get this up. Uh, I should probably double ice here. Yeah, let's double ice. I don't want to chase too much. Okay, wow. He did not send whites. Oh, he is sending whites. Okay, never mind. I was going to say. Alright, let's buy the... Oh, I can sell this now. Okay. Location should grind T1, bro. There's no way I'm grinding arenas. <laughs> I don't have like 18 hours a day to grind, bro. It's not gonna happen. Okay, we'll send triple lead. I don't know. I'm slacking it now. Is he gonna send me whites? Is the question. I feel like no. He he's gonna try to trap here. He's playing it safe. Yep, there's a trap. Okay, we can go for this turn. Alright, we have round 12 now. Is he gonna send the camo lead? I'ma wait. Yep, there's the camo lead. Okay, we'll get this up. Okay, he does go for the plantation. Alright. So, can we bank this round? Let me see. I might. I might do it. You know what? Yeah, if you can bank, it's better to go for this route instead of uh, the Mexico route. I'ma do this. He's sending up on boost. Oh, this is a region rainbow. Wow, that really like crazy. Okay, uh, we'll rebuy the bank here. So, yeah, okay, there we go. No way, I'm 21 off. Okay, nice. Okay, sending more zebras. We'll cash out here.
Please defend, please defend. Oh my god. Oh my god. What am I doing, bro? It's not supposed to be this close. Okay, okay, let's get ready though. We're still in this game. It's just gonna be very tough to defend because we have no lives to spare. The bloom boosted more, we just boost. No question asked. No more question mark? There's no way. Focus up. Okay, he's letting me live. I'm not even gonna try to BI though. That's the thing. Alright, uh he's going NFE, okay. So he has three plantations that might defend an all out round 20, but I don't know about round 22 all out. So let's see. Okay, there's a BFP. It's gonna be two eco boost. Hey, I just wanna defend without cashing out. That way we have something going for us. Uh oh my god. I might ha I might have to cash out boys. It's getting close. Oh, he's all outing. Okay, we just Apache here. All right, we're just gonna make sure we don't install this again. That we go. We can use a boost here. I'm gonna use it on the last PFP though. Alright. Oh, he's all out. Okay, he realized that I'm gonna defend. So, two eco boosts, bro. Please give me this. There we go. Easy, boys. See ya, bro. That's how you do it. Oh my god, that was way too intense. Oh, might be good though. Still have a boost, so yeah, any counter he sends is not gonna work, bro. So just surrender. You don't even afford a Sabre, bro. Why is he trying to defend? Just surrender. I have an Apache, bro. You s Do you not understand that nothing's getting past us? Location is great only. Bro, I, I'm not grinding, bro. I already answered that. I am no way I'm no lifing like 18 hours a day, bro. It's not gonna happen. Alright, he should be going down. I don't know why he's trying to defend. We could we could have some fun and just micro or chinooks. So then we do this. We're about to die actually. <laughs> this is DC glitching. Bro, what is this? Oh, he dies. Okay, GG's, GG's. GG's, we end up winning our own tournament. That's crazy. Y'all need to do better, bro. Alright, let's play one last game here. This one I record a decent game against a decent player. And, oh, we found retired player. Alright. So, bro's retired and it looks like he's back to play some bloons. Alright, 65 million minutes and 59 per 700. It's one. Alright, good luck, buddy. Let me stop my Spotify actually. So we lock in. It's a fan. Okay. That's him hot eyes. Okay, he's asking me to ready up. Alright, we'll go both A's here. It's my signature strategy on this map. You I love to go this route. I've optimized this so much. To the point where I don't even think I can lose anymore. I have defended so many grinders uh choke rushes on this map. Like I have pretty much like I have a script in my head for pretty much every scenario. So when there's a scenario like this. It likely, uh, the worst case scenario when both uh, play for passive start is they're going whiz from ace. So you gotta be uh, on the lookout for that. If he does go that, I'm gonna send uh, 
a little bit more than I would against Boat. So he's gonna actually go for the aggro start. Interesting. This is not the play at all. He's also using the bad boat spot. You wanna always use this spot because it can catch the balloons over here and over here. It's the pixel perfect spot. And you can always just afford the grape shot like this. And you can see even if even if he did not if even like he did send me balloons and even then we are up in lives because you're not supposed to send on this map. It's such a long map, it's not even worth to send. Because when the balloons go like this, go like this, go like this, go like this, and they reach it, I can afford a grape shot. And you can just force the grape shot with $42 like I did. So we're just up in money now. Up in money, up in life. So we're just completely outplaying. One minute and 16 seconds into the game. You love to see it. And he's using the bad, uh, he's using a worse grape shot spot. So he's gonna do worse um, mid game. And not, unless he's doing both farm boomer or something. That's a. Uh, um, that's, that's gonna make all this irrelevant because then he's like he's just gonna choke rush me so it doesn't even matter what he does okay he's actually gonna farm interesting so is he not going like okay he went for a passive start why am i assuming it's a boat farm boomer i should just assume it's boat farm motor or ace because some people like to go for a passive start even with boat farm motor for some reason i guess they need to uh they're gonna see how strong boat aces on this map and once they learn the lesson, they'll start to anti-stall. He's gonna send that. We'll just get this up. We'll wait a little bit though to send our blacks. Just so we get more value out of them. Because greens are yet to be spawned. There we go. It's nice. We perfectly layered it. Should be able to force the second boat. Yep, there's the second boat. We'll instantly stop sending because that's gonna solo. And you can see my farms are really good. So... If he's going anything other than boat farm ace, he's completely screwed. If he goes boat farm super, I'm killing him with camel heads because if I send infinite camel heads, he's gonna need a temple, whereas I'm gonna only need a ground zero. So our defense for infinite camel heads is way cheaper. And we also have the spectre, so yeah. I don't think he's going he's gonna go boat farm super then. It's tossing me a thumbs up. So let's just hope he's going ace. If not, he's gonna be in a very losing spot. Alright, let's send a lead. Let's see what his third tower is. If he goes for the cannon ship, it's gonna be... Oh, it's mortar. Okay. Why do people not anti-stall round 1 with uh, mortar, bro? It makes no sense. I will show this guy why you should be anti-stalling round 1. By absolutely destroying him. So, if he sends whites here... Oh, he's gonna greed. Oh my god, I messed it up. Oh my god, why am I so greedy, bro? Should've just got it up round 11 and we would've been fine. Alright, it's all good. It's all good. Let's not tilt. He's sending more regrows. Just need a second grape shot and we should be fine. I'm gonna spike. No, we don't need to spike. Oh, we, don't, we, don't, we don't need to spike that. Because I'm worried it's gonna insta regrow into a lead. Okay, we're gonna be faster shooting. We put this on close as well. Put you on close as well. Do I gotta spike this? Nah, we're good. Fun fact, destroy is not even bought in this map. You're just supposed to grape shot spam. Because grape shots get so much value. You can see just sh shred the massive infinite white rush. Okay, it's gonna send more regrow rainbows. That's fine. Strong, strong. We'll just spike that, spike that. Close, close. Okay, strong, strong. Please boost that. Please boost that. Please don't die. Oh my god, bro. Why did it regrow so much? I take my wards back. You, need, you do need a destroyer for regrow rainbows. Dude, I thought the grape shots on strong would do better. Okay, what is this? Alright, we'll cash out. We'll cash out, we'll cash out, we'll cash out. Send a mini rush here. Because I don't wanna... I don't want him to get away with all this. That is not gonna defend, bro. There's no shot. Okay, wow. Burn yourself is this OP. Okay, stop sending. Stop wasting money, Lokish. Come on now. Alright, so if he sends uh, leads, we gotta get up second cannon ship. I mean, we are still in such a good spot, and I, I don't know why I'm worrying so much. We're in a really good spot. Just gotta ODS up if he sends one of those stupid uh, choke rushes again. And if he sends a... Uh, actually, should we just... Bolt pull a bomb? Should we just boost? Honestly, I'm just down to boost it. Yeah, I'm down to boost it. I'm just gonna boost. Because I have no spikes, so I'm not playing any games, bro. 
You'll greet for this. We can still afford a second cannon ship and on boost this should be able to shred. Get this up on strong. Strong. Okay, you should be on close. You should be on close. Strong, strong. Close, close. Okay. Actually, this should be on close for, for now. We'll eventually get up the um we'll eventually put this on strong as well. It is the less we'll get up the cannon ship uh preemptively because I don't want this to layer too hard. Okay, go on first. Dude, I am I'm so bad at this game. What did I just do? I just boosted to nothing. It's all good, it's all good. Don't tell, don't tell. We'll sell in a good spot. We just get up an ODS, but that's the layer. The Z press is the layer. So we need an ODS. Alright, yeah, I'm getting it up. That's my ODS. Alright, there we go. Third cannon ship. Please defend. Strong. ODS micro. Saves the day. Oh my god, we just leaked. Okay, we good, we good. Alright, there we go. Finally. Finally, something going on our way, boys. Alright, we did not cash out, so... W defend. We are on pace for like around... Uh, 22 factory, I think. Can we get it up next round? Let's see. It's gonna be really close. But if we do get it up, it's gonna be completely winning for me. Unless it, I choke to some of his dumb rushes. Yeah, I can 100% afford it if I just sell a cannon ship. So close, close, and we'll sell the cannon ship here. Okay, how much is it? 13k. Yeah, I cannot afford. Okay, build this. No, I bought this. Oh my god. Okay, come on, ODS micro. Okay, 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 ODS micro. I see the ODS micro, bro. I load his solo down to with just ODS. The cannon ship barely does anything. W ODS micro. I might even ODS micro chat. Might be. Okay, as <laughs> I say that, I messed up my farm placement. Hate to see it, bro. You hate to see it. Alright, I'm gonna replace it now. Before it's too late. Alright, he has similar farms. But the thing is, my late game strat is like a billion times better than his. So all we need to do is this. I'm pretty sure we stand spaced around 33. And then we'll all out 35. The spaced are... The space ZMDs are important because um then you make sure that they don't just stall encounter. I just greed like crazy, you know. That's why that's important. We'll get up a second cannon ship here if he sends leads. Yep, there's the leads. You now I'm gonna get up a third one. Be good, be good. Almost went wrong. Okay, close, close, close. First, nice. We have round twenty. Why now? Get ready. Send him leads. The balloon boost, so he distracts. He's distracted. Okay, go on strong. Nice, we forced a motor stall. That's really good. We are fine to his regional lead rush. Choke rush. Whatever you want to call it. Yeah, I'm locked in, bro. I'm logged in so hard at no chat. It's actually crazy. Yeah, we're gonna win this game now. Because of how focused I am right now. He's dead. <laughs> He's dead. GG's. Yeah, we were gonna destroy this guy, this guy late game anyways. Because both is very much broken late game. And my farms were way too good. So GG's. His choke rushes did not work. This is why you should anti stroll round 2. Because it's not even close. I just kind of fumbled the back mid game. Even though my defense were... Even though my def defense were kind of good, but I just uh, panicked, right? If I played calmly, I should be able to win that game every time. So yeah, that's going to be it for this video. Hopefully you all enjoyed and I'll see you all in the next one. Peace out.